not even an hour after that press conference, three people shot in that same area. Police say a 53 year old man was killed when a gunfight broke out between two people. The area has become a haven for lawlessness in the weeks following the shooting death of Rayshard Brooks. Today, city officials addressed the issue, saying the murder of the eight year old girl was the last straw. For weeks, neighbors who live near the southeast Atlanta Wendy's on University Avenue say it's been under siege. Since Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed in the parking lot by a former Atlanta police officer, some armed citizens had taken over the lot and put up roadblocks on University Avenue. Their position was that they were policing the site because they were not the ones who actually was doing the shooting. They were not the one that was doing the uh, protesting that was violent. During a press conference Sunday, Councilwoman Joyce Shepard, who handles the district, says it was a mixed crowd. Some family members of Rayshard Brooks and some people who did not live in the area. Recent conversations with the groups led to the removal of barricades, but over the last week, Shepard says communication broke down. I received a notice about 45 minutes to an hour that the barriers were back up before I received the message that little Sequoia had been shot and killed. Eight-year-old Sequoia Turner is the third person to be shot in the area in two weeks. In another incident, the driver of a car says he was attacked by the armed group. Tonight, APD says it will do better, putting an end to the lawlessness. We'll continue to uh, support any level of peaceful protest. But once those protests start to take a different uh, direction, we have no other alternative but to take action. And people are now being warned to stay away from that area if possible for their safety. This new tonight, Governor Brian Kemp weighing in on the violence in the area after getting word of tonight's most recent shooting. Just mo moments ago, he tweeted this saying, quote, this recent trend of lawlessness is outrageous and unacceptable. Georgians, including those in uniform, need to be protected from crime and violence. While we stand ready to assist local leaders in restoring peace and maintaining order, we won't hesitate to take action without them.